this is probably one of the longest all right weapons all right the battle pass weapons that you can actually max or fine because we're talking one per battle pass season yo what's up guys i am blank a hero and in this video we're going to be talking about the battle pass the battle pass by which this one is gonna actually be ending in as you can see two minutes yes the battle pass catch the win this you know that has started ever since the game launched back on september 28 is now finally gonna end and we're gonna now experience a new battle pass so for those of you who did not catch this battle pass event there's you know there's gonna be a next one a new one all right so what's gonna happen after two minutes is really you know interesting i don't know what's gonna happen is are we gonna get the new one or are we not anyway so these are the rewards that you can get uh, actually if you go here it it's a total of 50 levels you know in order to gain levels you do daily missions weekly missions the bb period there is a premium version called the gnostic hymn and then there is just the free to play version called the sojourners battle pass the gnostic hymn costs basically five dollars and the Gnostic Hymn costs $20 and you get plus 20 levels and this awesome travel notes cash the name card style, which is beautiful. And the, you know, the prize of this battle pass, how many minutes we have left, a minute left, is we is when you hit battle pass level 30, you get BP Bounty. BP Bounty is this, right? You get the Black Sword, Serpent Spine, Solar Pearl, the Verdescent Hunt and Death Mat. So these are all crit ways, crit rate items. They're all beautiful. And what's gonna happen when the one minute's up? We don't know. So yeah, these are the weapons. All right. And the, this battle pass is now ending. All right. So I've said. So now we're pretty much just gonna wait to see what happens once this battle pass has ended. So again, in my previous video, I did go for the verdescent hunt because upon hit normal and aim shot attacks have a 50 percent chance to generate a cyclone which will continuously attract surrounding enemies dealing 40 percent of attack as damage to these enemies every 0.5 seconds for four seconds this effect can occur only once every 14 seconds so basically this is a pure green hunting bow this one's belonged to a certain hunter whose home was the forest so that is the verdescent hunt all right, so it's passive attack, it's cyclone. It's basically like a venti skill, you know? It's a crowd control type of skill. And you, you get it off a weapon, that's going to definitely be helpful. So that's what sold me on that. Especially the fact that in 1.1, when the new battle pass is released, when the new characters are released, when the new storylines are released, we're going to get Shielde or Tartaglia. Hopefully, I, 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 I'm not mixing up that name with someone else. But yeah, we'll call him Shielde for now. So yeah, one minute left, all right? So yeah, it's called Catch the Wind. This, yeah, so this was a beautiful battle pass. In my previous video, I did make the mistake not to, you know, I started late, all right? So that's my excuse. And we actually had to, yeah, uh, you know, buy pretty much this, this bowl that I've been so proud of. And yeah, this is gonna be the bowl that I'm gonna be meaning for the you know rest of the period and i'll tell you why later on i'm pretty much just rambling all right one minute is taking a while all right what if we just leave all right go back here all right battle pass not yet locked so here here the this is what happens when you're in the battle pass so i think it technically all right, so are you guys seeing this? So it seems like the battle pass refreshes. It stays the same, I think. So it would seem. It would seem that the battle pass rewards would still remain the same. Maybe. And they're just changing the event name. Uh, we'll go into that further on later. We're just pretty much just waited to see what happens. All right, I'm not leaving yet. So daily missions are now blank. You can't purchase levels. Not that I should. Nor, nor can I. Uh, weekly missions are blank so these are all blank as you can see here the black sword is still here the serpent spiny sea is still here the verdescent hunt and death match is still here all right these are all notifications because this is the only this i reached level 30 pretty much so these are still all locked if we unlock gnostic him that does not work 
rules. You can still see rules, and you still see, you, can, you can't go back here where it says the, the title. When we hit X, and then when we hit F four, all right, battle pass is now gone. All right, so that's 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 it, guys. So the battle pass is no longer available. We're gonna actually have to wait till 1.1 for the battle pass to return. Meanwhile, all right, so if you go to forums.mihoyo.com, that gets you the official, um, you know, forum for Mihoyo, right? You go here to official, right? And then, you know, here, where it says fading star event details, we actually have the info, the official info on what the next battle pass is gonna look like and then just 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 at a glance you can already see some familiar weapons can't you uh, you got the verdison bow deathmatch the yeah they're the same all right We're, that's hinting something anyway let's read on uh, so the fading star event is about to begin giving travelers the chance to win some rich rewards unlock gnostic hymn or gnostic course to further earn intertwined fate and a designated four star weapon all right, start time after the version 1.1 update. So the version 1.1 update is going to happen on 11.11. That's November 11. And depending on your time zone in the morning. All right. And it's going to end probably around 11 a.m. Hopefully, depending on your server. All right. So it's pretty close. All right. As of the recording of this video, it's the 10th. So pretty much tomorrow. So eligibility, adventure rank 20 or above. Same with the previous battle pass. All right, you can only unlock this when you hit AR20. All right, battle pass, bass, details. These are pretty much the same. So journals battle pass will be unlocked. By default, every BP period, travelers can unlock either Gnostic Him or Gnostic Chorus. I think Him is the $5, Chorus is the $20, the one that I purchased. Or directly purchase Gnostic Chorus at a discounted price. Yes, uh, there is like a, like probably like a dollar discount. Travelers who have already unlocked Gnostic Him need only exchange the remaining difference in cost in order to unlock Gnostic Chorus. Travelers can complete BP missions to increase. So basically, if you get the $5 version, right? And then the $20 version becomes $15 version. Basically, I guess. That's what it's saying here. Travelers can complete BP missions to increase their BP level and obtain rich rewards. Daily BP missions will refresh every morning at 4 that is actually true. Yeah. While weekly B pensions will refresh every Monday at 4. So, yeah. So, the battle pass ended at, at 4. Just yet, yeah, just a while ago. Uh, once you have reached the maximum BP level during this BP period, you will be unable to gain further battle pass via BP missions because it's not relevant anymore. You already reached the max. It's not gonna, it's not like it's gonna move forward to the next battle pass. It's not. So there, you know, when you reach 50, yeah, you just, you just stop, chill. You're good, right? No need to do those missions anymore. The refresh time is based on the time on the server you play on. That's, yeah, the time zone on each server is America, UTC negative five, Europe plus one, Asia plus eight, and uh, everyone, uh, yeah, this is pretty much still Asia plus eight. All right, so again, we're getting the same weapons, so it seems. So Fading Star, the last one was a different. They just changed the event name, okay? All right, so that, that's pretty interesting. All right, so, you know, if we look at this weapon here, uh, just look at the bottom right corner. We're not gonna, okay, probably we'll put it on all right, weapon. Where's the weapon? All right, so here, let's switch the, this one, the Verdison bow. All right, let's switch that in so you can see the bow in all its glory, just, you know, just down there right oh, over there all right so yeah that is the verdescent hunt it's a bow it's beautiful it's unofficial it's green because it's forest theme and it's exactly the same as you see on this picture right here all right so again i i i, I don't want, i'm just gonna say it all right i'm just gonna say it it's the same <laughs> i already said that so many times so when we talk about refinement right because i think that's a question all right, is this the title of the video? How to refine the battle pass a weapon or so. All right, so you go here. You, how do you how do you enhance this? All right, how, you, you're gonna need multiple copies of the same bow, right? Uh, but here you you can't, all right, because there the only way to get this is from the battle pass, right? Right, that that's the only way. So yeah, if you refine the verdant win, right? Instead of dealing 40%, it becomes dealing 50% of attack damage and cooldown drops, alright? 
at round five, this goes all the way down to 10 seconds. So you can spam this every 10 seconds. That's beautiful. But this is probably one of the longest, all right, weapons, all right, the battle pass weapons that you can actually max refine. Because we're talking one per battle pass season, all right, the season lasts, if I'm correct, what, what, how long does it last, all right? It doesn't say. I think it's six weeks. All right. So every six weeks, you get one. So it's going to take like five, 30 weeks. What's 30 weeks? Five months? Six months? Right? Six times four, 24. Seven months? So yeah, in seven months, you'll be able to. That's assuming if you stick to one battle pass weapon. All right. That's pretty much the only way. Unless they're, unless they're going to add different events in the future as to how you get the BP weapon, how you get these weapons right here then we won't know for sure but based on my my judgment my thinking my critical thinking my head all right this seems to be the case this seems to be the path that they're going with all right so for all you free to play players these are good weapons you should go for them all right it's only dollars a month it's like a subscription for coffee and my coffee is expensive because you buy that on a daily basis all right we can make that argument but regardless all right, you just, you know, you do your missions, you play, you have fun because commissions are fun. They're actually really interesting. And, you know, eventually you'll get a really good four-star weapon that can actually rival a five-star weapon that is only going to be probably refined to one if you're free to play or even a dolphin. All right, if you're going to be a whale, then yeah, this video is not for you. If you're a leviathan, then why are you even here? No. All right, so yeah so there you guys have it fading star it's gonna be released on 1.1 hopefully you guys you know are convinced that the way to refine your battle pass weapon is just through the battle pass alone for a long time so if i were you all right whichever battle pass weapon you already got or you're already convinced that you know that's a really good weapon and you're gonna roll on that on your main dps on your support or whichever character you put this weapon on the weapon that you got either of the five then the next battle pass that's the weapon you should think you should put on your list of things to actually consider getting moving forward all right i'm black here hope you guys did enjoy this video until next time let's see ya